Hello small business owners, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the estimate section on Perfect CRM. So let's explore how Perfect simplifies the estimation process, making it easy for you to send out estimates uh, for your service-based business. Firstly, we'll open up and we'll see that on our dashboard, immediately in the billing section, we can see the current status of any estimates, what's in draft, what's not sent. Uh, what is sent and what's expired, these are all hyperlinked. So if we were to click on them, we would automatically go through to that section. Next, when we come onto the estimate section, we are seeing all the estimates from all the customers that were sent out, regardless of what the status of that estimate is. Let's just change this view so we can see all of it. By taking off the filter from sent to all, we change the view and now we see all of the latest estimates that have been sent, that were declined, that are out there, that are in draft, in all its different statuses. Okay, now in order to act to create a Okay, so now we can see all of the statuses. Now we create by clicking on create new estimate and we can go and create an estimate for an existing client only. Estimates cannot be created for leads, but only for existing clients. If you think about it, only a current client may ask you, can you give them an estimate on a particular service or set of products? and you don't need to send an actual proposal to them with the history of your business, the pros and cons, benefits or risks and so forth, outlining um, your qualifications or anything because you're not at proposal stage. They're already a customer and they're familiar with what you do. So you open up the customer field, you type in a few letters and you simply pull up the customer that you're looking for. Automatically, the billing information as well as the shipping information will uh, generate if it has been filled in on the customer sheet. Then an estimation number for tracking purposes is filled in as well as the estimation date line. And you can adjust these dates to make it whatever you'd like. On the other side, you can see that the default currency appears. The current status of the estimate is draft, but these are the statuses that I can move through. Eventually it will be sent, and then of course it will either be accepted, declined, or expired, depending on what the response is from the customer. We do have to indicate ahead of time if we are going to um, have it a dis... We do have to indicate ahead of time if there will be a discount on this invoice and whether or not that discount will be before or after tax. How do we add services or products to it? We simply click on the arrow and we can add our products or services. Automatically it will line up in the first block. We click on the blue tick and that item moves then onto the invoice officially. If at this stage you needed to make adjustments to anything, the amount. If you need to make any changes, you can do so to the item, the description, or the amount at this point, and it will update the estimate with what that change was. You therefore can make special client notes at all terms and conditions, but if you've put it in your settings, what your terms and conditions are, they will appear here. Now we click on save. We review the invoice one last time and once we're happy, we can send it to mail and automatically, as you can see here, it will go to whichever contact you'd like it to go for this client, as well as you could see to yourself if you choose. It will also have a PDF version of the estimate attached and then of course, you see our templated estimate email that goes out saying, Dear, contacts first and last name, this is your estimate, please click here to view. And you click send, and then it's off. Your client then can view the estimate in his client portal, or he can view it 
uh, within the email as a download itself. It will be there. So let's log into the client portal and here under estimates, your client will find all of these estimates. What's also very nice is that automatically an email goes to your client with the estimate, but also reminder emails go out during the time that that estimate is valid, just to remind the customer and yourself to have a look at the estimate and to come back with an answer. And hopefully it's an accept. So remember that estimates are part of proposals, but if we are doing a proposal with a lead, then the estimate function is what we see within the proposal section. And those just become then the proposed items that we add in and shape our proposal around it, which we covered in a different invoice. So as a service-based business, your brand matters and Perfex allows you to customize your estimates, adding your brand elements from your logo to personalized messages. It's your chance to make a lasting impression with your customer and also go through a very easy to use estimation process. If you're ready to transform your business on how to handle estimates, reach out to us at Success by Design. We specialize in matching small business owners with their perfect off the shelf software tailored just for them. Imagine being up and running within a week we will handle the setup, customization, and offer ongoing support uh, through your business journey. Your success is our priority. Contact us today. Our details are in the description box.